Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is Parachutes Over Crete, Crete a Panzer Grenadier game by Mike Perryman, and it's published by Avalanche Press. This isn't my game. Uh, my, my friend's trying to prevent me from going bankrupt from uh, running the Centurions Review website and YouTube channel, so he's uh, letting me borrow games to do unboxing videos on just to save me some money. So, let's see what this is all about. Invaders from the sky. In late, late May 1940, the German Air Force launched history's first large-scale airborne invasion, dropping a division of paratroops onto the island of Creek, followed by a mountain division landed from transport planes. For 13 days, the motley allied garrison of Australian, New Zealand, and Greek troops put up fierce resistance before the Germans finally secured the island. All right, it says it's a complete Panzer Grenadier game based on these epic battles. And there's 40 scenarios. That's cool, so you can get a lot of replayability out of this. Ordered, organized into five battle games uh, that allow you to play the scenarios in sequence towards the Army's operational goals. So you can play them in sequence like a campaign. That's cool. All right, let's see the specifics here. Complexity level says it's two stars, so that's low. 40-page rule book with 40 scenarios. Uh, let's see, four uh, maps, 493 uh, counters, wow, and 200 meters per hex, number of players, two, and it takes from 30 minutes to many hours, so I guess some of the scenarios are bigger than others, so that's cool, so at least you got some scenarios that can be played quickly. So it's got a little sleeve on here, kind of like, who, who did this? Victory Point Games use sleeves, and uh, I believe, uh, Holland Spiel, no, they don't use sleeves, they use a sticker that goes on the box, but let's take a look in here and see what we have. My friends played it a bunch of times, look at the counters here. Yeah, the artwork on the counters looks really good, and they're big counters. I don't think that's all of them. I think he's got he's got a bunch he hasn't punched yet too. Let's take a look at those. Yeah, the artwork on all the counters looks <coughs> good, and many of them are double sided. So, all right, let's go to the rule book. So that's 59 pages. And it's going over. So it uses all Gr Panzer Grenadier 4th edition rules except below. So this is the scenario rules. Okay, so this is the regular Panzer Grenadier uh, rules, the base rules. Let's look through that first. Yeah, it's around 41 pages. It takes a little bit more. Yeah, 41 pages. It's in black and white. My friend loves this uh, series of games. It's going over the summary of concepts and the terms. And then going over the components. And it looks like you got... The first number is direct fire. You got anti-tank fire there and stuff. Interesting. All right, sequence of play starts with initiative determination, then an action phase and a marker removal phase, and then action segments. You got subordinate activation, armored fighting vehicle activation. And it goes over the stacking limits here. And it's going over movement and combat movement, night movement. Disorientation leaders and combat. And there's also spotting rules. Line of sight. And going over direct fire, anti tank fire. Assault. Opportunity fire, morale, 
And you can also do uh, surrenders in this. Cool. Oh, and there's even penal units. And it's going over some of the special rules here, like digging in and so forth, and wrecks, entrenchments, that type of stuff, minefields, caves. And here's some optional rules. All right, so it's a pretty hefty rule set. I guess this is the scenario rules here. It's going over some of the special rules like dragging guns and glider landings. Parachute landings, parachuting heavy weapons, and then going over the levels of victory. And these are the scenarios. There's Malene Airfield. Scenario 3 is Assault on the Regiment's Assault. What were we Scenario 2? By the Tavronitis. Alright, I'm not going to read them all off because there's like 40 of them, so we'll just page through here. Hostile Reception. Sad Tale. Mountaineer Attack. Prison Valley, the landings. That's cool. Drifters. Aya Prison. Alright, so as you can see, there's lots of scenarios. So this will keep you busy for a long time get your money's worth with this one here's your turn record interesting here's your assault chart on the other side is the bombardment chart and then you have an anti-tank fire table and direct fire table and here's your terrain effects chart And, wow, that's a big, big terrain effects chart. Here's more counters. And let's take a look at the maps. The maps are paper maps, but the artwork on them looks really good. It's kind of like a cardstock paper. It's not traditional, I would, I, like what, what you would call, I, I would call poster board uh, paper. This is much thicker. This is more like the paper you would get on like a deck of cards or something. So it's decent quality. Like I said, the artwork looks good. I assume you can set them up and and make different maps uh, out of it, kind of like a geomorphic thing. This one's got a city on it. Yeah, I have to tell my friend uh, we should try a scenario of this. This looks cool, since he knows how to play the game already and stuff. Here's another city. Thanks for watching, and if you liked the video, please click like on it, and if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, and if you've played this game or any games from its series, why don't you chime in in the comments section and tell us all about it. Have a good evening.